Much was made about Apple's terrible, horrible, very bad, no good start to the year. Shares of Apple tumbling to start the new year. Another downgrade for Apple. The stock down more than 5% so far this year, and it's early. Shares of Apple are off to their worst start since 1982. Microsoft has uh, surpassed Apple as uh, the most valuable by market cap. Some of the loudest critics, they blamed Apple for not having an AI strategy like its mega cap peers. It's not a business services company like Microsoft is and like, like Google is, Alphabet is. So I don't know how much uh, AI is going to impact their revenue. That's why I struggle. I'm sure people smarter than me are figuring it out, know where it is. But I've asked the question to people say, oh, they're going to be the leading AI player. I said, where, why, what? Well, that is what we are here for. This week on Tech Check, the where, why, and what of Apple's AI story. Apple's nearly 50% stock spike last year, that was nothing to scoff at, but it was nowhere near the meteoric gains of its magnificent seven peers, Nvidia, Amazon. It also lagged behind Microsoft and Alphabet. When it comes to the Magnificent Seven, it's the seventh of seven. All stocks that one could argue have clearer AI stories. I know what the AI strategy is for other companies like Microsoft. I know what the AI strategy is for Alphabet. And Apple's unwillingness to communicate that story doesn't help. This chart shows the number of times AI was mentioned on earnings calls. Apple wasn't just late to the game, it barely crossed 10 mentions compared to the 50 70 and 90 of Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. People think that Apple's behind. They just do. But there are some who say that long term, Apple has the edge, including Altimeter's Brad Gerstner, who wrote that many people are asleep on Apple when they discuss AI. 2024, he says, is the year when they discover Apple is very much awake. And then there's Morgan Stanley, which thinks that, quote, 2024 will be the year when Apple's edge AI opportunity likely comes to fruition. Edge AI, sometimes called on-device AI. This is the idea that soon devices like our phones and computers, they will be powerful enough to run entire large language models like OpenAI's GBT instead of being stored in the cloud. For consumers, that could mean faster, more personalized, and more secure AI. Edge AI doesn't have to communicate with distant servers, and it uses your own data stored locally. I anticipate Apple will be one of the first ones out with a true personal digital system. And here's the key, the data will stay resident on your phone. It bypasses the key cloud players that won 2023, like Amazon's AWS and Microsoft's Azure, potentially shifting the upper hand to Apple. We believe 2024 will be the first year we see mass adoption of consumer on-device AI and then Apple will be the single source of trust for a lot of uh, currently what perceived as a very fragmented consumer facing AI apps. Apple also has something few others do, and that is the vertical integration of hardware, software, silicon, and services. Let's break that down. Apple is one of the very few hardware companies that has had success across many different key devices. Smartphones, computers, wearables like the Apple Watch and AirPods, now it's trying to break into augmented reality headsets with the Vision Pro. It's a current install base of two billion. So unlike an Amazon and more so than a Microsoft or a Google, Apple is positioned to deliver an AI enabled device already running on its own operating system. Look for them to start to brand some of their hardware as more optimized for AI on the edge in 2024. Next, the custom silicon. Over the last few years, Apple has moved more chip design in-house, making their products more powerful than ever. Today is the day we're announcing that the Mac is transitioning to our own Apple Silicon. It gives them more control of the supply chain, less dependence on outside manufacturers like Intel, and the ability to make chips more efficient for cheaper. Having a world-class silicon design team is a game changer. That'll also pay off in this transition to edge AI. Apple, because what they're doing in silicon over the past several years is they brought more of that in-house, puts them in a unique place to be a leader when it comes to this edge. Essentially, they've got better chips than most of the other phone makers out there and a lot of the other computer and laptop makers out there. Especially as another transition plays out this year, from training to inference. In 2023, when foundational models like OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, Anthropic's Cloud were created, they needed to be trained on those expensive industrial level chips that only NVIDIA had. 
Now that those models have been trained though, the next step is inference, simply feeding the model requests or asking questions. What Apple's doing is giving a great chip, a three nanometer chip, uh, which is a, a wicked fast chip that's going to be on your phone that's going to be great at getting inferences. And that, of course, is when you ask a question, it generating a response. The key question for investors and the stock, how will Apple monetize and turn this AI opportunity into cold hard revenue? Morgan Stanley writes that, quote, Apple's efforts to bring these features to market are accelerating, increasing the likelihood of an AI iPhone launch as soon as fall 2024. And if there is an AI phone, that could give consumers incentive to replace theirs, adding a new catalyst to the iPhone replacement cycle, which has now stretched to a record four and a half years. If they do it right with having the best AI on the edge, uh, they're going to sell more phones and computers. This is crucial for Apple, which has seen four straight quarters of sales declines, its worst rut in 22 years. What could also help? A Siri powered by AI that could leapfrog competitors. When you use your, app, your, your cell phone, the thing that has not been as great as they'd like is Siri. Uh, I think they can make that much more uh, involved with artificial intelligence. Analysts expect Apple to launch its own foundational model, reportedly named Ajax, in June of this year. Another increasingly important segment for Apple, its services business. Those subscription offerings like Apple Music, Apple TV+, Plus, iCloud, plus revenue from its money printing app store. Apple could integrate AI into those native services more with AI-powered health, financial, and fitness assistance. On the flip side, Apple has not been great at telling its AI story. It hasn't announced its own large language model like Google and Meta have, or made splashy investments like Microsoft and Amazon. Some say that has Apple playing catch up. But others argue that Apple is rarely first, that in fact, it plays the long game better than anyone else. What is Apple doing in AI? And the answer is a lot. It's a strategy that Apple is known for, being last but best mover. It didn't invent the smartphone, the tablet, nor the smartwatch, but now those devices are seen as best in class. I guess we're gonna wait and see what Apple has to deliver as it relates to AI. They're not gonna you know, sit there and, and, and do nothing, that's for sure. Especially as some of those other quicker moving mega caps may be opening themselves up to regulatory scrutiny and lawsuits. The FTC, the UK CMA, and the European Union are reportedly all looking into Microsoft's deal with OpenAI. And the New York Times is now suing Microsoft and OpenAI for use of their copyrighted articles. Apple, taking the slower approach, is instead trying to ink deals with major news organizations to use their content to develop its AI. Their more cautious strategy also applies to user data and privacy. Apple has access to mountains of data with 2 billion devices and 1.2 billion users, but using that to train their AI model could go against their culture of strict privacy controls they would have a golden opportunity if they would take that personalized data and use it to the benefit of training a model. But that would be crushing to their brand around, uh, around sa safety, security, privacy. That could mean sacrifice, having the best model out there. They're gonna give up uh, some of those insights that they could have, uh, a lot of other companies would want to harvest. That means that their model is not gonna be as good as the other foundation models. But for consumers who value privacy and simplicity, Apple may be the dark horse in the AI race.